Hi, my name is John of JW Millinery and welcome back to my channel. Before we go any further, hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell to be notified when my videos go up so you never miss any of them. For those of you that missed it, I have just set up a Patreon account. There is a video um, I posted a couple of days ago regarding that. Check that video out. Thank you very much to my very first Patreon. I'm very grateful um, and I look forward to talking to you, working with you on Patreon and listening to everything that you've got to say. So check that out. Like I said, you don't have to do this, but it would massively help and support this channel. For all my viewers outside of the UK, it is absolutely boiling in the UK at the moment. I mean, in London, it is it's too warm. I mean, I'm recording this at like 8 o'clock in the morning and I've got the blinds down. It is boiling. It's so, so hot. Um, but with summer means pride season now in the us you've just had your pride season that's just gone but in the uk majority of our pride events are in july and august so what better to celebrate london pride tomorrow by having two variations on a pride theme headpiece now for those of you who don't know what pride is basically it's a celebration of everything gay lesbian bisexual, transgender, any sort of thing that doesn't kind of fit with the, the heteronorm of society. And there is a lot of arguments whether or not da, 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 this is we're not going to get into this on that channel. We're literally just going to be celebrating the fact that tomorrow it's Pride and there's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of celebration and a lot of rainbows. So these headpieces have taken that rainbow element, one's very rainbow, the other one's taken it and used it in a completely different way. So this first piece is very, very, very rainbow. Um, it's by Cinema Strips, also on together to give a long continuous bias strip, which has then been formed on a simple base and sewn down. It's very quick, very simple, very easy. And if you're going to Pride tomorrow and you've got nothing to wear, this is perfect. The second piece is a little more subtle. Um, as you can see, it's got that Pride element. It's kind of got a bit of a tribal wedding vibe, veilness to it, um, which, you know, I mean, when you go to Pride, you can pretty much wear whatever you want. I mean, this would be perfect for going clubbing. Who here on this channel feels that they're too old for clubbing? I feel like I'm 36 and I'm like, I don't want to go clubbing no more. No, I'm too old for that. Give me a nice cocktail bar with a gin and tonic or an espresso martini and I am happy as Larry. Let me know in the comment section your Pride stories. I loved hearing them. Um, I love hearing what everybody gets up to. Obviously, let's keep it clean, you know, keep it clean now. So without further ado, let's crack on with this tutorial. So for the first hatch, you're going to need the following. One meter of one centimeter wide cinema bias binding in the following colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. You're also going to need some scrap cinema to cover a button block and a headband. For the second hat, you're going to need one meter of nine inch veiling in white, one pack of chenille wire strips, and one comb. And for equipment, we just use the button block from Hat Blocks Direct. All the materials and all the equipment will be linked in the description box below. Start the first piece by covering your block in cling film and then wet your cinema and block this over the block. Pin against the bias to start with and then pull over the block on the bias. This will help the cinema hug the block and give you the correct shape. As you go around the block you may need to remove pins and re-block to give a nice smooth finish. If your cinema is stiff give this a last blast of steam and let this dry. If it's not very stiff though Give this a liberal amount of stiffener and let this dry. Once this is fully dried, remove the pins and carefully remove from the block, discarding the cling film. Then, trim away any excess cinema, leaving around half an inch of cinema on the inside. Cut a length of millinery wire to the correct length and join with a ferrule and insert this into the lip in the inside of the base to hold the shape. Then, you're going to need to sew some grow grain ribbon to hide the excess cinema, making sure you trap the wire in the lip.
using a sewing machine on a very low tension, thread it up with some nylon thread and set this to a wide zigzag stitch. Start by sewing the strips of cinema together in the following order, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then finishing off with purple. Make sure you take your time though, so you don't break the thread as you sew. Taking the base, pin this to a head and then range your rainbow strip in a way that suits you. Pin the strips where it touches to keep the shape and then remove this from the head and make small stitches where you've pinned it together. Don't worry if you see your stitches because we're going to hide them later on. Stitch to the base a headband which has some cinema attached. I tend to use a small square of cinema and using an iron bring in the edges so it's neat on the outside. Then using a very small amount of yoohoo glue, glue the band into one of the edges and secure until it's dry. And then to finish this piece you're going to need to stitch down your rainbow strip onto the base. Here I used a thread which matches the base and if you can see any of the thread on the outside then just use a sharpie pen to change the colour of the thread and voila you've hidden your stitch. To make the second piece, sew the top end of the veil in together, but be careful though, as you can easily tear veil in with your stitches. Then find the centre and using a stitch, bring this to the centre where the other stitches are and tie your thread off. Place the veil on a head and trim the veil in into your required shape. Or if you want, you can just leave it as it is. It still looks good as the way it is. But if you want to make it a little bit different, then you're going to need to trim it into the shape that you need. You will need to pin this to a head though because it can slide around a lot. Then, attach a comb to the point where all your veiling comes together. You will have to go over and under the comb though to fully secure this to the veiling. Try and keep your stitches nice and neat because we won't be hiding this with anything on the top. Taking the chenille wire strips, cut three bits of each colour around about an inch long and carefully twist a piece of the wire over the points in the veiling. You could make a pattern or just be totally random in your placement, but if you're making a pattern for pride, then make sure your colours are in the correct order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue and then finishing off with purple. Along the bottom of the veil where we have cut a portion away attach a small dot of apple glue and let it get slightly tacky and then place a Skrowska crystal on top. Once this is dry turn it over and repeat this on the back. You could however miss this step but it, I feel it gives the piece a more finished look. That was a surprise this week. Two tutorials, two tutorials, two tutorials in one video. Like always, if you want to follow me on all my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter, they'll all be linked at the end of this video and in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.